So as you hear, the electricians make a big mistake in this episode. I'm on a pretty new site, struggling to find a cup of tea that's not got mold in it. <laughs> and today's task, we're gonna be dealing with ceilings with built-in spotlights. Now, the big thing here is also, is the fact we're dealing with some hefty ceilings that have got bolts and washers all over them. So today, we're gonna to be tackling a few subjects and we're gonna make sure we're gonna get these electricians sorted. Okay, so let's look at these have these spotlights now the generally pain in the ass is quite thick from the ceiling but there's a bit of profile there but big problem is this scraper you can see how close that screw is to the edge I think when you plaster that you're gonna see it that one's virtually touching the scraper there and that one there as well They've all been screwed up, but what I think is when I plaster this ceiling, you're going to see them screws right through it, and that's going to be on every single light. So, I don't know how else the electrician would have done it, to be fair. I can't blame the electrician, but these lights are generally a real pain in the ass to deal with. I have to have a little think about that. Okay, so we're going to try and get a straight line on this here. So we're going to use this, a string line. So I'm going to connect it at that point, run it through. I'm going to find where the corner ends and then we're going to ping a line. Now, there we go, clean line. As you can see, I've got a nice line to work from that runs all the way through. Now this, it's going to have to get bonded out because of the plugs. But another little hack, we're going to run a stop bead along that line so we've got a nice line to work to. And we just cut it where you need. There we go. So I'm also going to scrim tape the bead and that's because, to be honest, the staples don't do a great job of holding these up. So I've got them up initially but the scrim tape not, will, not only help it stop it from cracking but it's just a great way to fix them up again. He says as the bead's falling down. <laughs> So I just spoke to the foreman for this job and he said his electrician's going to come back. So it's just not worth risking, is it? Imagine plastering the ceiling, all these screws are showing through. <laughs> Be a nightmare. So I think they're coming back. Let's see how that goes. So the bead's on, we're just gonna load it up now. Now, the good thing about having the bead is we know how far I've got to come out, so there is actually a massive dip in this, in this detail here. So, push it into the scrim, and then we know exactly how far I've got to come out. So just bringing it all the way in, squeezing it into that scrim tape, because the bonding doesn't always like scrim, it likes to fall off. Now, just carry on building it out. I just want to try and meet that line where the stop bead is. So when we had our finish, we've not got too much to build onto. It is quite thick, so. I'm really off of this. Try and get that line nice and straight, so. I don't want to take too much off there because it's still quite thick. So I still need a bit building out in the middle there. The thing, checking the bottoms. That bit needs building out. That edge is okay. So all the prep is made when you're filling in any areas that are low, we're gonna rule them off now. Let's see how that looks. That's better. That's better. That's it. Nice clean edge, straight line running through. We've got rid of the plugs. Winner. 
Okay, so we're just going to carry on the same thing all the way around the room until all the skeelings are done. Now let's look at the spotlight situation. So the electricians came round and in the end they used some silicon, they glued them up and now that is a lot better, ready for the next part. Okay, so we've got the mix on, we get the stilts on, it's a must for all ceilings, the stilts are amazing. Get these on, then we've see how these bloody spotlights go. Not too excited about them but it's got to be done. So I'm going to whack these on, we'll go from there. I'm trial and hawk. We're going to try these stock beads here. See what it's like working against them. Like I said, it's pretty new to me that. Go over the joints first. So we're going to need quite a thick coat to get over these spotlights as well. So that'll be something we've got to think about. So we're going to need two thick coats really. These spotlights are always a bit of a bugger to deal with. So we're going to put a nice thick coat on all over the ceiling, stopping at the stop beads, working around the lights. And actually, I don't think these lights are going to be too bad to be honest. Looks like this could be alright. Absolute nightmare. Oh, and if it's loud on site, by the way, I do apologise. The selfish chippies are here, butchering wood and making a load of noise. <laughs> so let's get now, like I said, some of these spotlights, the ones that are plastered into the ceilings, can be an absolute nightmare. But these particular ones have got quite a low profile and they're quite easy to work with, so it's quite lucky in this instance. But in some situations, I've had to bond out the spotlights beforehand just to try and get a decent gauge on them. But these have been pretty good, and as you can see, we're pretty much getting there with the first coat pretty much travelling straight over. But yeah, you've got to watch out for the near misses because <laughs> that is a real thing. That was a close one, right in the face. So I'm plastering this ceiling on stilts. Then we've got James here in the corner. Hello. He's got his tools all over the gaff. Box in the middle of the floor. <laughs> have a coffee. What is that? Oh, he's got a coffee. No, I didn't make me one. It just gets worse, doesn't it? It gets worse and worse. First coat done. And the spotlights are covered quite well. We'll come around there. We've got this little bit as well. So. First coat's on. So now I've got the thickness on the first coat and stop beads are covering nicely. And hopefully these spread spotlights will just sail over. Hopefully. We still need a bit of thickness, but it's all good. Now generally, these spotlights are a lot better than the last ones I work with. Last ones are a nightmare. These seem pretty good. So, just whacking the second coat on. Nothing too hard, nothing to talk about really, other than how these angles finish once the ceiling's done. I'm going to fly through it. I'm going to check back in later on and see how it's all looking. So we're just getting through the second coat. And again, the second coat doesn't need to be as thick as the first, but with the instances where we are working with built-in downlights like this, you want two solid thick coats really to make sure you're completely covering the whole area. Right, so I've been second coated, just got to do a clean up and then we're going to start flattening. But so far, so good. Spotlight's covered well. And it looks like the stock beads are looking okay, so let's clean up. So I'm going to the flattening, what I'm going to do is just scrape back and try and find a bead and then I've got something to work to and then I know that edge is nice and tight. So that's the plan anyway, just scrape that bit back and then I know for definite where the finish point is 
And then go into it from there. Got two separate mixes, so should be all good. <laughs> Now is a good time to take the excess off. Let's get the excess plaster away. There we go. Give it a good poke up. Get rid of that. And then give it a good trowel over. There you go. Nice, smooth seal into the spotlights. Lovely, jubbly. Now we get some multi-tisk wipes. We're gonna give the area a quick clean. Now what my idea is, gotta leave all the spotlights, everything you do spotless. Make sure it's a lot easier for everyone else afterwards. And then that is it. Two ceilings done. I got this done. And the other big ceiling that we left out in the first episode. Now the first episode before this, there's a reason we left it out and that's because the electricians messed up again. Now if you wanna watch that episode, click this video around here and also found out how I broke all the rules in plastering and still got good results. Click it now.